That's a, this is an interesting one. This can that's underground with the ladder, basically, you know, next to the driveway, next to this person's house over here. Um, there's not much room for the guys with their trucks to come and pull in and be able to maintain these things. Um, conditions down inside this can have gotten bad enough that the WPCA or Lindsay staff has moved all of the electrical, well not all of it, but the control systems and some of the electrical components up into that black box that you see. What that is, is a, uh, it's a chain link fence that's around that telephone pole, an electric pole. And that's where the equipment was taken up out of the can and placed there so that the guys could get at the control equipment without having to go down there and so that it will last a little bit longer because the conditions are so bad down in the pit that uh, it's not going to last. Um, so this one's only 20 feet deep. I still don't like going up and down 20 foot ladders. It's beyond its full useful life. The same safety issues that we discussed. Um, flooding, insufficient wet well volume is, is, is important because that's again, that's the underground chamber where all the water comes into and it waits to get pumped. That has to be of sufficient volume so that the pumps aren't turning on and off and on and off and on and off very quickly, okay? So we need to make sure it's got enough wet well volume. Operation space up on the top there in the people's front yard, insufficient. Again, so a new site needed. Again, recommendation is for a complete replacement. Um, this is an interesting one. Facilities are supposed to be you know, modern, they're supposed to be clean, they're supposed to be sharp. There's nothing else that can be done with this station. This is a little bit different style of station than one that has the pumps way down inside that pit. This one has the pumps sitting up on the ground surface with tubes that go down, and these pumps are specially made. They're called a vacuum prime pump that will suck the water up in the tube like a drinking straw. Every time they start, it sucks the water up in the tube, up into the pump, and then it will start to pump. But again, atrocious condition. There's nothing left that can be done. These stations have limped along for such a long time. Um, there's just nothing that can be done, and I think the photos speak for itself. Um, replacement parts difficult to, uh, to obtain. Again, we talked about how old these systems are. Are there replacement parts even available? The vacuum priming system, um, it's a good system, but there, there are better ones out there. Useful life safety issues, insufficient wet well, insufficient operation space. You're going to hear the same thing again probably on the next one, so let's go look at that. Roosevelt talked earlier about uh, environmental issues and administrative consent orders, DEP orders, because of pollution. Um, we've gotten enforcement actions on this. You can see this manhole here, and if you can see what's going on in that photo, that is raw sewage that's spilling out of that manhole, going right down the banks and into the Lusitanic River. Okay, This manhole is probably maybe 100 feet from the station. Manholes like that only overflow when there's something wrong with the pumps because the pumps are sized to evacuate whatever water comes into it in an ideal condition. But these pumps are plagued with clogging. Again, whatever debris is coming down, whether it be those wipes or whether it be bricks and stones, I have no idea. But they will go down into the wet well, they will clog the pumps. So this thing last upgraded in 72. It pumps 40 to 50 percent of all the flow coming through dirty. It's an extremely important facility. And to have it in the condition that it's in now, again, it points to the fact it is time to get these things fixed. They cannot go any longer. Okay? It's located right in the river floodway. It's overflowed many, many times. Um, same story. Okay? Um, and there's even more. More of the same, so to speak. So, uh, again, it's, it's recommended that this is a complete replacement. So that's the story of the pump stations. It doesn't sound too good. 